and welcome. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Devin Booth, and you're back for another rookie guide in the Mazders. This is Lime Rock Park. We uh, just got a new scan from iRacing. Lime Rock Park's looking, feeling really good. Much enjoy. I've been very, very happy with the new one. Now there are some performance issues with it, so just bear that in mind. You do might have to sacrifice grandstands and trees and whatnot, but uh, it it does look and drive extremely well. Very, very happy. Uh, so as usual, we're doing these rookie guides weekly now, and we want to make sure that we go from start to finish so that you guys are ready for your racing this week in the Mazdas. I'm just going to warm up the tires as we come around for these first few laps here. And then what we're going to do is something a little bit different than what we have been doing. I did a race one time. Uh, that one actually got like specifically bad reception for the most part. Um, not for the, the guide itself, but in terms of doing the race and my attitude during the race and stuff like that. Which, that's kind of expected. I have a very different attitude during the race than I do for these kind of things. Uh, the first video did pretty good, so I'm going off that one with some suggestions on how to modify it. We're going to go by corner by corner. And again, as always, guys, comment down below, please. Your, uh, your information and your uh, your input is what's going to make these guys good for you and for everybody else that has been asking for them. So let's make sure that we uh, do the commenting thing. Let me know what I can do. Make them better. All right, now give me a few minutes. I'm going to warm up the tires. We're going to come back on the first corner. And we exit the last corner with all of the speed, revving it up all the way before we get into fifth. Ready for the first Five, corner. Four, We're looking four, at the two four, sign, nine. onto the brakes and in. Down to third gear as you get into the curb. Keep it close. Bring it back in again. Get the curb and get on the gas to come wide. Don't use quite all the track, about half here. Brake and gas. Keep the car balanced. Might have to lift a little bit here depending on how your tires are, but aim through and out using your curb on the exit. Back to the curb on the right. Left side lining up for the kink in the white line, which is where I'm braking. Down into second just before the turn in. Turn in nice and smooth. Maybe a little late sometimes if you can, depending on how your tires are doing. Get on the gas up and out the hill. Leave it in third here for the most part. Bring it in early. Catch a little bit of curb and gas on through. Feeling good. And then again, a little lift in here. Oh, catching the grass. And then gas out. It's okay. We're going to go back over it now. But there's your lap to start off. Now let's take and break it down. So when we come into the first corner, we were looking for the two sign. Bam. This is where I'm going to get on the brakes, right about here. So if you're looking for other markers, you can see if I back up so it's on the single screen for you guys. There's a blue pylon right there, just a little bit above. So what you could do is potentially be using that pylon with the edges of your monitor, right? You do have the edge of your monitor as a guide if you're on triples or if you're on single screen when it disappears off your screen. Um, but I'm using the two sign, trying to get on the brakes right around there, sometimes a little bit after, like that blue pylon's probably actually about a good spot if you're pushing it. Um, but I don't like to use the one. I see people braking at the one occasionally, and nine times in ten they're going wide, especially with the baseline setup. If you could set up the car, I think it'd be more realistic to brake at the one, but we don't want to do that. So again, braking at the two. We're going to come in here. All right, we're slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, right about the one. Again, other markers you could use. If you noticed, there's that little house over there. That's disappearing from my bezel, so you could use that on a single screen or triples as a marker if you'd like to. There's the guy on the left. You could use him coming at you if you wanted to. But about the one sign, here's when you're going to start to bring it in. Right? You're going to be in fourth gear till somewhere about here. You're going to get into third, and you're going to want to keep your revs up as high as you can. Like, if you can keep it in the yellow, keep it in the yellow until you get about mid-apex. Get a good bit of the curb, then you can let the revs come down a little bit. Because you're going to slow down just a small amount here. Not a lot, just a small amount. It's enough to get the front of the car coming down. Then you're going to get back on the gas. You're going to catch this curb. And you're going to be on the gas all the way out here. All the way. Do your best not to catch the edge, but use all the track on the side here. And then come back. Again, when I, like I said during the first lap, go to about 
you know, two thirds midway of the track or so. You don't have to use quite all of it. And I find I upset the car more and have more trouble if I do. You're going to get on the brake. You're, you're going to use like brake and throttle. Like I'll be braking like this in and you'll see me with the gas bouncing it, right? And first gear, so we're actually moving. And then you'll see me kind of like trail off the brake and get more on the gas as we come towards the exit. Because then what I'm doing is I'm keeping the car balanced, right? Because when you come through this at speed, you can even you can see it in the mirror, but I'm backing up so you can really see it. You see how the car's leaning to the left, right? There's quite a bit of camber there. But you're coming off of a spot where there's a more camber. So your car's actually inclined to spin, right? So you come in, using the camber, using the brake, slowing down. Be careful not to, f to spin it as your camber comes out here and you start to get on the gas and transition out. And then you don't want to lift here if you can, and you want to come back into the right. If you're looking for some kind of turn it indicator or something like that for this corner, I would probably say that little kink. You can kind of see it. And it's going to take you some time to catch it. But you see how there's like that bend right there? It's quite abrupt, right above where the uh, the dash is right now. It's like not, not a nice bend at all. That's what I'm looking for. That's where I'm aiming at. So you're coming out of this corner, quite heavy on the curb. Coming back into this little pocket over here where that bend is and then back and through. And you don't want to touch that curb if you can avoid it. If you, if you want to, go ahead, but try not to because it could screw you up. And then you're looking for this next corner here. A little too far for you to see it. This bend right here. So you can see where the white line's curving, and then there's like an abrupt bend and a line on the road right there and right in front of us. You can just see it in front of the hood and everything there. That's what you're looking for. I get on my brake right about there, sometimes a little after, but right about there. You're gonna come in, you're gonna go wide, you're gonna stay in second gear, and you're gonna look for where the apex is. So you can't see it right now. If I back up just a hair, you're gonna see it. This is what I'm looking for. When I see that is when I'm turning in, right? So I can see the apex, the reds just disappeared. I'm bringing the car in. And you wanna get as close to, but not on those red widget digits as you can. Come through, you should already be in third gear by the time you're going up the hill. Left, right, left, right, pretty standard. Same as coming out of that other exit. I know I didn't really talk about it, but you're just apex and exit, so you guys know that. You'll see it when we do the lap tide again. Lots of apex here and third gear with no brakes. Then again, lots of apex here and out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-go over the first half of the track Make sure we've solidified it a bit, and then we're going to come back to the end and get a little bit more Pacific and specific with that stuff. So again, the two sign, braking, fourth gear, third gear on the big turn in, curb. We're running slow for the sake of talking, right? Wide and back in, then get on the gas and stay on the gas. Should be full mat. You can see on my inputs I'm not, but we're talking. Again, brake and gas. Keep the car balanced. In, curb, out, that little pocket, lift a little bit and through. No lifting. Not lift out. I lift on the transition so I don't have to lift on the exit. And sometimes, once the tires are in, you won't have to lift on the transition. Again, the bend on the line, onto the brakes, in, and through, gas, third gear, on the way up the hill. Wide to the left-hand side, lifting in and turning in. Catch the curb, gassing out. Third or fourth, really your choice. Sometimes I'll do it in either or. In gas don't lift with a setup you definitely don't have to lift for that corner it the temperature here is like 39 degrees ish something like that during the race so it's a it's a little bit sketchy i've been lifting so again in third gear push wide bring it back in push wide good bit of the track but not all of it gas and brake in curbs Running out, don't have to lift this time. Watch that steering, there's camber there, but it fades out towards the exit, so you need to watch for the oversteer. Catch the apex, come back, break in the line, or bend in the line rather, third, second on the turn in, bring it in. 
And I'm actually kind of keeping that red curb on the screen by just a little bit. But I'm turning it a little early, being a little bit safe, right? When we really start pushing, we can push it out till it's just coming off the screen. And then we hit that in fourth. No real time lost or gained. Relative stayed the same. I got into fifth early there. But it worked out for us. We didn't lift. Feels good. All right. So we're looking at the two sign. Track has come down in temp. I might be able one, to get through this three, a little bit better than three, I was one, in practice six. for the rookies in the actual racing. Just keep that in mind. You might not be able to be quite as full out, but a little bit of lift there because I was carrying a little bit too much speed through the corner. You can see how I'm utilizing what I said, right? Gas and brake to get us in there. Oh, oh, oh. That was why you don't want to catch that curb, right? <laughs> we talked about this. Okay, now let's get a little more serious with this last bit here. So we've turned in, we've come through here. We're in second gear, and you're gonna come up into third, right? You'll be riding third gear. So when we come into here, coming left, we're lining up. I'm using that right curb where you can see it, all right? And I'm turning in long before this, but I'm trying to get in so that I'm facing roughly this angle here as I'm coming in for my turn in, right? So let's kind of back that up a little bit and see where we kind of end up. Ah, we're back here farther. We're like probably turning in right around hereabouts. Starting to bring it in then. Yeah, there we go. Catching it like that. Let's see if we can find a marker for you guys because I'm doing this corner more by feel than anything else. I'm in third gear. I think probably the bushes would be your best choice if you needed to find something. Or maybe even the fence on the right side. You can see there's like the wooden stakes on the right side and then there's the gray fence and then there's the curb, right? So you have three steps. You're gonna have to use your judgment and see, because again, I'm doing this more by feel because you're coming out of the chicane, you have different speed. I'm in third gear, right? And then I'm coming into this angle and I'm keeping that fence on my screen. So probably to use the stakes when you start off to turn in and then the fence as you go through. And then wide here. And if you do it right, you shouldn't have to lift. You use this pocket to turn, but I've been lifting inside the pocket to get the turn in and then easing on the gas to get through in the races. So that last corner is pretty easy. So let's break it down again here. So it's second, sign, down fourth, third gear, lots of apex, through, push a little wide, bring it in. Shouldn't have to lift here if we hit it right. Well, I didn't get on it hard either. Braking and gassing. Trail off the brake, get on the gas, bring it in. I did do the lift through the transition there. But still running, not too bad. Okay, the brake and the line down. Second in. And through. Left, right, and then again, so use that wooden, yeah, use that picket as a turning indicator. A little bit after that picket fence dealio starts to come off your monitor or to the edge of your monitor, you can turn in and bring it in and through. So now, I'm gonna do a lap or two here, just quiet. You guys can pay attention again. The One, gear indicator three, on the left, nine, two, two. in the bottom there, has a green line and a red line on it. Green for gas, red for brake. So you get an idea of the inputs that we're using. So let's go through and do a little bit of try hard and see what kind of lap we can actually get. It's hard when you're speaking to actually continuously move fast, right? Continue through here, to the left, in. And I'm kind of turning in a little bit early for that corner there. If you're used to driving a mid-engine car though, you might want to turn in a little bit later. Use a little bit more brake. Like, I'm, I don't know, it depends on driving style. Some people turn in a little bit later. They go a little bit slower on the entry, but they get a better exit, right? It's really gonna be up to you. All right, that was a good lap there. Let's do one more, but I'm gonna head down here. Oh, all right, that's lap 
will do. We put our head down. I ran a few. I managed 23.5, 23.6, and, uh, sorry, 22.5, 22.6. Uh, here's the 22.6. It was cleaner. We'll take a look at the 22.5 as well. As you can see kind of the difference. But we come in nice. You can see from the uh, Forza camera that we're using the line a little bit better. See how we don't use all of the track there, how we're on the brakes and the gas through here. And see how we're aiming at that little point we were talking about, turning in just before it. Running through here really nice like. Looking really smooth. And this is the same thing you want to try to get for yourself, right? Wide entry, a little bit tight on that apex for that one, but like I say, get as close as you can to those red buggers. Then over to the left here, using the wood fence as your turn in marker, using your peripherals. I think I'm staying fourth gear for the most part through there. Then a lift down the hill and gas through an exit. There's our quick lap there. And then we'll look at one more here. This guy right here. So again, on the brakes hard. This one we have a much better first bit. Catch through there, out wide, and then back on the gas again. Really nice track usage here. Come back in. Really, really tight. Probably a little too tight too early, but same thing. Aiming for our little pocket in there. Coming through. This is where we were a little too loose. I was talking about being able to get loose on a few corners. That's what you got to watch for. But we do still manage to come through with a pretty good lap time here, so no harm, no foul. In a sense. So watch here again to the left side. Fences the turn in marker, bringing it in, getting the apex, fourth gear through. And then here lifting, just at about here, halfway down the hill kind of deal, and then back on the gas, get on through and out. And that's it, bros. That's your rookie guide for the week. Uh, if you guys have any questions, throw them down in the comments. I would very much so appreciate it. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to drop the likes and all that good stuff. Sub for the sim pit. And uh, to help support, you know, what I'm doing and mostly what Sean's doing because what he does is absolutely awesome. I'm just trying to contribute for video stuff here and there and uh, where I can. So, yeah. Thank you guys again. Appreciate it very much. Liberty Slabity!